just wanted to uh, wrap up the trip. Vegas 40, uh, it's already a week past. Uh, did a few uh, pictures just uh, on my way back from uh, the hotel to the airport and then uh, on my way home. Uh, had to back it with a blues track because, of course, it's always sad when you come home. We'll be doing a longer uh, sort of podcast wrap-up here probably in a week or two, and we do have a lot of uh, uh, videos coming. You already saw the uh, room video from the Flamingo. We've got a room video from the Golden Gate, from the El Cortez, the Cabana Suites, um, and then finally the Valley Room at Harrah's. Um, in addition to uh, a couple of uh, pieces we did on uh, the construction updates on different uh, areas of the Strip, we took a lot of photographs and some video around Park MGM again. It's our fourth, will be our fourth Park MGM video. Um, did some footage around the 18 Fremont area and also around Resorts World. So those are some of the videos that are coming up in the next, uh, you know, four to six weeks. I don't know. Didn't do as many videos on this trip and uh, I, I, I found the vlog sort of got tedious. I think it did for a lot of you. So for those of you that stuck around and actually watched uh, all the way through, I appreciate that. I'll try to do a little bit better next time. Um, had a, Like I said, it's just an overall wrap-up. Had a really good time. Seven days is a long time to be in Las Vegas. Um, and uh, I didn't gamble as much on this trip. Although I must tell a little short story that uh, one night I was out and about and playing, I don't know, I think it was down at Planet Hollywood or Valleys or Paris or something, and it was getting late and I cashed in a ticket and had a few coins along with it. And um, after I got to Las Vegas, I realized that I had a pair of pants that had a small hole in the right pocket. Um, so, yeah, I knew I was going to have to wear them during the trip, as it was part of the uh, wardrobe itinerary. Um, so I just made sure on that day that I put anything valuable in my left pocket uh, until that cash out, at which point there was a few coins which I dropped uh, without thinking about it into the right pocket. They immediately fell to the ground, picked them up, um, and I stuck them back inside the little pocket inside the pocket. I don't know if women have pockets inside of pockets, but men have pockets inside of pockets sometimes. So I tucked the quarters in there figuring they were safe. When I got down to the Cromwells, for some reason, I must have jostled my pocket somewhere along the way, and the quarter fell out. Um, and just as you enter the Cromwell, if you know, you've never noticed this, make, make sure you check it out on your next trip, there's a grating. <laughs> and the quarter was sucked right into the underground, and uh, I think that's kind of a nice metaphor for what Vegas does to money. One way or another, it gets it from you. Um, I, you know, I can't complain. I, I did gamble a bit less on this trip because I knew I was going to be out there uh, longer. Had a really nice run, which I think is it was reflected in some of the video at Main Street Station one afternoon. And then had a tremendous uh, night. Stayed up almost all night long playing <laughs> video kino at, the, at Planet Hollywood and just uh, uh, ended up cashing out, I know, I think $100, $150 ahead. Had a great run there. I uh, had a pretty good run at Harris one day on some free play, ended up making money on the free play, and then of course, you know, you give it all back. Uh, had uh, played a lot of sort of four play Kino and five play uh, um, uh, video uh, uh, poker on this trip, uh, sort of spread my uh, losses around a little bit better, and it did seem to help. Uh, but otherwise, I had a lot of $21 beers, is what I'll call it. Some, maybe some $41 beers. There might have even been a $101 beer in there somewhere. But uh, uh, saw some shows. That was a lot of fun, uh, being able to go to Absinthe and then actually being a part of the show for a few minutes. Um, had a great meal at Hell's Kitchen. I did take a lot of photographs and a little video on that, so there is a Hell's Kitchen video upcoming as well. Um, so it was fun. Got to meet some great people that uh, I, uh, you know, that share a love for Las Vegas as obviously you do if you're watching this. So again, we'll, we'll have a lot more video and we will have a podcast with more sort of detailed analysis of, uh, of the trip and, and some of the things that I learned. But I did want to again thank everybody that did stick around and, and watch for the whole week. And uh, um, you know, it was a great week and uh, hope to do it again soon, probably, you know, probably early uh, either January or February. So uh, something to look forward to starting to plan already. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.